Right then, Clarets, Burnley fan reaction. Burnley nil, Preston North End nil. Um, I think we could be playing till Tuesday and still not score a goal. Um, it was a pretty, pretty boring game. Um, the atmosphere, once again, pretty much not there until a couple of challenges in the second half where it did make it a little bit more fiery. It did make it a little bit more entertaining. There was a bit more of an atmosphere, but then that died off as well. Um, and I think, obviously, you know, the players have to give us something as well to create an atmosphere. Um, but, yeah, it, it pretty post, uh, pretty negative overall, really, in that game. But we've got a clean sheet. We've not lost. We're still unbeaten at home. We're still second in the league. Um, and defensively, I thought we looked quite solid. Um, obviously, you know, that there's that moment in the first half, well, in the first couple of minutes, really, where we've got very, very lucky with an offside goal. Um, at the time, I thought it was Miles offside, but I sit in the J Jimmy McUpper, so from there, it was hard to see. Having seen the pictures and, you know, the playback, we got very lucky there. Um, but... It was poor officiating all round, all game, really. Um, and I think that really summed it up with the referee's performance. Every time a Preston player went down, he fell for it and they got away away with it. Don't matter if they'd fouled one of our players, don't matter if we'd fouled them, don't matter if they were nowhere near the ball. Uh, as soon as one of their players went down, that was it. It, it was given as a free kick or at least he, he stopped the game and... That was, again, obvious what Preston had come to do. I mean, their goalkeeper were time-wasting in the, you know, the 30th minute. Um, and that's really sums up everything that we're Preston were about today. Um, but in terms of ourselves, I mean, defensively, again, like I say, defensively, I have no complaints. Um, all right, we switched off a couple of moments and they did have some chances. I mean, they they nearly hit the. I don't know if they hit the crossbar or they nearly hit the crossbar, uh, in the second half. Obviously, the offside disallowed goal, um, but defensively, I have no issues with that, and I think that's what we knew when Parker was coming in that he would be this pragmatic defensive, you know, make sure we don't concede rather than go and attack and go and get as many goals as you can, um. But like I say, I have no negativity towards that. It's just the going forward and just the attacking and just the final third that we're still missing something there. And I know I've been quite critical of uh, Foster recently. I thought today, especially in the first half, he played well, um, or at least better than what we've seen. I think he was very unfortunate because every time the ball came towards him, the Preston defender had had hold of him. It was all over him. He was pulling his shirt. You know, I think he had a good shout for a penalty um, in in the second half. I think it was. Um, yeah, the, I, I do feel like Foster improved today. He seemed to have a lot of energy. He seemed to be going for it. Um, but yeah, it, it just... There's something missing in that final third and I think it's summed up in the last minute where... We've got one last chance to attack and instead of attacking, Laurent's turning round to try and find a pass backwards. And that's, you know, the moment when there are times to slow the game down and there are moments to build up the play and there are times to, you know, pass it back to your goalkeeper and pass it through your defence and do those side-to-side -side passes. There are moments to do that, but... When you're chasing a game or it's nil-nil and you've got one last chance to attack, you know, the crowd are behind you. You've got players on like Fleming, you've got Sarmiento, you've got Anthony, you've got Cole Yosha, you know, you've got these players who, these attacking players and you're trying to turn around to pass it back to your defence. Um, and I think that that moment has summed up not only today's game, but has summed up the majority of this season so far. Um and I'd, I'd like to think that I'm quite an optimistic person and that, you know, I, I'm still putting my faith in Parker. I do still believe that we will be up there come the end of the season. You know, we're second in the league still. I think we've conceded the least amount of goals. Um, we've scored 
a decent amount creating chances isn't our strongest you know our strongest um asset at the moment um but i do believe it'll come i think we definitely need a striker come january i mean that that's blatantly obvious to everyone um i think that obviously now roberts is back in the side and i think we looked better with roberts at right back i do like humphreys i do think he's a good player but we looked so much better with roberts at right back um humphreys just seemed to lose the ball quite a lot in that first half which you know it, it it's understandable why why parker did make the change um but yeah it, it's just that final third it's just that final attack and i mean I think when I came off the Plymouth game the other night, I said I felt deflated, despite the fact we'd only won 1-0. Um, <clears throat> despite the fact we had won 1-0. And I think that was more to do with the time wasting at the end of the game and how we saw the game out when I felt like we should have been attacking and we should have been going for another goal. But today, the, there wasn't the lack of effort there. Um, you could see that there was the effort there. It, it was just moments where we could do something better. I mean, Cole Yorshaw, I love the guy to bits. I think he's one of the best players in the week, in the league. Um, he's definitely one of our best players. He can create something out of nothing. But the lad needs to realise when it's time to pass the ball and when it's time to take players on. And the fact that he tries to take three players on in one go, he doesn't always need to do that. We know he can beat his man. We know he's got the speed. We know he's got the tricks to do it. But he doesn't always have to do it. And I feel like he feels like he has to do that. Um, I mean, it, the same goes with Hannibal. I feel like his role in the team is to try and win the ball back, try and be a little shit, wind up the opposition and get the ball out wide. And he doesn't always need to do that. He can run with the ball. We've seen that a bit today. We saw it a bit midweek. He can get the ball and he can run with it a little bit. He just needs to start doing that a little bit more. You know, there's Steve. We saw Steve today. We've been crying out for a, a centre-back to make those runs into midfield and beyond, just like Bayer did in our promotion season. Um, and Steve did that today. He made that little run into midfield, got himself into a good position, gave the ball to one of our players. I think it was out wide to uh, Anthony, to be fair. And the ball's come straight back to the defence. And I was looking, thinking, Steve must be thinking, why have I made that run? Why have I made that effort to get myself out of position, nearly halfway up the pitch, for us to just pass the ball back to where I was? And that's the frustrating thing, where there are these times to pass the ball round, but there's times to go forward and go for it. And I think Brownhill made a comment after the Portsmouth game about that the fans getting on the back and I think we can all see these moments where we do need to be pushing, we do need to be going forward, we do need to be more attacking. I mean, no disrespect to Preston, you know, they, they came with the game plan. I say no disrespect to every team and that we should be beating teams like these, but I mean, Preston are near the bottom of the league, we're at the top, we want to go for promotion. Preston, again, no disrespect to them, but it's Preston. Um, and we're not going for it and we should be going for it and attacking these teams and taking the game to them. It should have been a hostile atmosphere today, but for the majority of the game, all you could hear were the Preston fans. It needs to be hostile from the fans. It needs to be hostile from the players. We need to take the game to them, not them come and take the game to us and we defend and we pass it round. We need to take the game to them. Yes, there's moments to pass it round, but the moments when we take the game to them, they're what we're missing. They're what we need. I think it's one shot on target today. That's not good enough. That's not good enough at home. That's not good enough away from home. That's not good enough for a team that sits second in the league and is going to be up there towards the end of the season fighting for promotion. Like I say, it's not just on the strikers. It's on every single player. Um, You know, we, we need to create more. We need to attack more. We need to get those chances, get those shots off. I mean, I wouldn't be upset if we had shots outside the box that went over. At least you're having a shot, at least you're having a do. But that's what we're missing. We were missing it in company season last year. We missed it at the start of company's promotion season. 
we need to do that. We need to start attacking and going for it a bit more. <clears throat> but we've got the international break now, which is a good time. It's come at a good time for us because now we can work on these little things. We can work on the attacking. We can work on the shooting. And we just need to come back from this international break stronger because this is now where the season, where the table will start to take shape of where it'll be at the end of the season. I still think we'll stay in and around the top three, four teams. I do still think we'll go up. I do think we'll go up automatically. But we need to do that attacking. You know, we, we need a striker who's going to put the ball in the back of the net. And I think we all accept that when Foster isn't going to score 20 goals this season. We know he's not. But we need a player who is going to get into double figures at least. And I can't see that from Foster. Like I said, I think today he played much better, but I can't see him getting into double figures. I thought Fleming was pretty much anonymous when he came on. Um, bar a couple of moments, I thought Sarmiento was exactly the same. I think, obviously, Steve, like as I mentioned before, the defence was absolutely brilliant in the moments that it needed to be. Um, and obviously, Steve, we say he's man of the match every week, but I thought Hannibal did well because he was trying to make those moves and trying to get that forward. Um, same as Perez, I thought he played well trying to get the ball forward. But yeah, we're, we're not the finished article. We're nowhere near the finished article. We just need to sort out that, that final third because when we do and when it clicks, when we sort out that final third, we could be lethal. But we just need to get there. And like I say, that... It's no disrespect on Foster because I do think he's got the potential to be a great player. Um, I just think he needs the competition and a bit of confidence. He seems like that sort of player who needs the confidence. And I think he needs to get a couple of goals under his belt to give him that confidence. Um, but like I say, he needs the competition as well. I mean, Hatanji and J-Rod haven't really giving him that competition up to now. Um, I think it would have been interesting to see one of them coming off the bench today. But we are, where, we are where we are. It's a point we haven't lost. It's another clean sheet. We're still second in the league. We've got the international break now. We've got a bit of time to work on, work on the moments that aren't quite working for us. But yeah, not as negative as I was after we'd beaten Plymouth, which... Obviously, strangely, because we've not got the result we wanted. Um, but I don't think it was as bad as people think. I don't think it was as bad as some of the comments seem to be on social media. Um, like I said, the referee performance was abysmal, but we've got away with one um, with with the offside goal. But like I say, we are where we are. Nil-nil draw. We've got a point. We've got a clean sheet. We're second in the league. Have a good international break and we'll be back, um, I think, next game, Chef Wednesday away. So, yeah, we'll be back again, Chef Wednesday away and hopefully three points then. Up the Clarets.